Hi there, welcome to H2E Pods where we specialize in the healing health benefits of one specific molecule, molecular hydrogen. I've been in this field for, since 2017 and in this video I'm going to completely condense everything that I know about hydrogen therapy. So by the end of this video, you will be clued up with what is hydrogen therapy, what are the best machines and how to implement it. So let's just start with the molecule molecular hydrogen. So it's the smallest, most abundant molecule in the universe. So if I could take one, one single strand of my hair, lay it out, I could stack along that edge between 200,000 to 1 million hydrogen molecules. It's beyond super small. I can't imagine how small that molecule is, but it's very, very, very small. It's the most abundant um, molecule in the universe, but in the air we breathe, so when I breathe in, there's only 0.005% hydrogen. So there's hardly any in the air, but the hydrogen that's here goes straight up to space. In space, there's 75% hydrogen. So there's plenty of hydrogen uh, up in space and even hydrogen feeds the sun with energy. Hydrogen is known as the best selective antioxidant. It only targets harmful free radicals such as the hydroxyl radical. Understanding hydrogen therapy, you've just got to understand the different forms hydrogen can come in. So here I've got a glass of water. There's hydrogen in here as H2O. In your body is hydrogen. 60% of your body is, is water but only 10% of it is hydrogen and it's bound to um, water as, as hydrogen and oxygen. It's only when it's released, so in our machines, we use something called electrolysis, which puts a specific electrical charge through water and this specific charge releases the oxygen gas and the hydrogen gas. And this is where the th 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 hydrogen therapy comes in. Understanding the history of hydrogen therapy is the first electrolysis machine was um, designed in the 1800s in England by two scientists, William Nicholson and Ant Anthony Carlyle. When we started our, our hyd hydrogen therapy business, we, we were looking at so many different machines from 500 mil machines to uh, water bottles to water ionizers and we said well what are the best machines and over the, the years we've come across three machines they, they all look the same and but they have different outputs we have our vitality machine which produces 1000 mils of hydrogen and oxygen when you breathe in um, hydrogen and oxygen at that, that amount, your body will get to a saturation point roughly around 30 minutes. And this type of machine is very good for general health, um, better sleep and better recovery. The second, our mid-range machine is our Superpower 1500. And it produces 1500 mils of hydrogen and oxygen gas. And this is for faster recovery, moderate health, health issues. And your body, when you breathe in from our superpower, your body will get to a saturation point around 20 minutes. Our biggest machine is our Immortal 3000. And with this machine, when you breathe it in, because the flow rate's bigger, you will get to a saturation point around 10 minutes. And these 3000 mil machines are the machines that are often used in Chinese and Japanese hospitals. And they're more for chronic health issues and for pro professional athletes. So there's two things to consider when we're talking about outflow of, of these machines. One is the saturation, and the saturation is crystal clear. The timings that I've given is, is crystal clear. The next thing to, to consider 
is the flow rate and the intensity. And the science on this is emerging. The, the studies are not published, so I cannot say this is what it does. But what we do know is that in Chinese and Japanese hospitals, when someone goes into the hospital with a heart attack, with COVID, with treating some chronic cancers, they are using these 3000 mil machines. And when I use common sense logic, with these conditions, it's going to be more chronic oxidative stress. And my, my guess is that the intensity is helping clear up the oxidative stress in a better way. So this is emerging science at the moment. But we, we can talk from our experience. Andrew, um, my, my business partner here, he's one, uh, one of the top professional athletes at his age group in, in, in the UK. And he's been a professional athlete all his life. And what he found, he's found recently is as, as he's getting older, his recovery time is getting, is long, getting longer. So normally he would come back from a competition and he would ache roughly for, for three to four days because it's the, the highest, highest level. But when he implemented breathing in a hydrogen oxygen machine from a 3000 mil, his recovery time literally halved. When he came back from another competition and tried a 1500 mil machine, it wasn't the same result. And we could see that breathing in a bigger amount somehow reduced the oxidative stress to a, a greater level. I can tell my own experience when I had COVID and I had breathing difficulty and I was breathing in the um, hydrogen and oxygen, I was breathing in from a superpower 1500 mil machine, that literally within 30 minutes of struggling to breathe, I could breathe a lot easier. And it was just that aha moment. Oh, this is what it does. And when you understand the science, which is every chemical reaction in your body produces oxidative stress. So if you're fighting a virus and you look at your red blood cell, it will be covered with oxidative stress. If you go to a sports event, and you run a marathon, your blood cells will be covered with oxidative stress. If you're fighting a chronic health issue, your body will be have a lot of oxidative stress. And literally, H2 comes along and it says, I'm gonna clean the red blood cell and then oxygen land. And that's why H2 and O2 are best friends. They just simply work together. And the interesting thing is when <coughs> H2 lands on the red blood cell and cleans it, it simply turns, it bonds with a free radical and turns it back into water. The chemistry of it is very simple. So to summarize, what can hydrogen therapy help with? Well, you know, if you're an athlete, you're gonna be making oxidative stress for breakfast. If you are got a surgery and you're coming back from a surgery, I, I, I had um, surgery and I've, I've had so many doctors say to me with our clients, oh, they've got a hydrogen oxygen machine, their recovery time, time is gonna be half. So it definitely helps with coming out of surgery. Um, it helps with depression, it helps with inflammation. Some people use it as a adjacent cancer, cancer protocol, but almost any health issue is going to help. So just to tell you a little bit about my background story, H2E came about because at the age of 14, I had ulcerative colitis. So from an early age, I got interested in natural health care. And at age 35, I had cancer of the large intestine. And, you know, I would not be here today without mainstream medicine because when I had the, the cancer of the large intestine. I had surgery. I had some sessions at chemo. I just would not be here. So I'm very, very grateful for, for mainstream medicine. But in the same token, it, for me, mainstream medicine doesn't always look at the root, root cause. And I think more people are uh, going, well, what else is there? 
And I like to have the analogy of seeing how it all works together because when it works together, it's powerful. And if you take this analogy of jujitsu, jujitsu is a combination of judo, karate, and aikido. You put them together and you've got a formidable fighting art. Same with healthcare. If you put together mainstream medicine, functional medicine doctors, natural healthcare, even, um, you know, I'm even working with um, advanced level of AI that, you know, if you put in all your medical studies, all your blood reports, and you ask it clever questions, you're more likely to get very intellectual, smart um, answers back. And the third stage is listening to your body because we're all slightly individual. And if you go, oh, you know, I, you know, I've got a short intestine, so I've got to be careful with whatever protocol I do. But it's just putting it together. And um, so what I've done is because I'm passionate on this field is I've done one blog. It's called Tony's Treasure Map. And it's all the thing, all, all of some of the best things I've learned along the way. And if you read this blog, you'll get pointers to what possibly could help. And it's like taking that information and individualizing it to you. And the reason I say this is I could be just talking about hydrogen therapy on here, but I think I'm, I'm not doing you justice because hydrogen therapy is part of a picture it does one thing extremely well it reduces oxidative stress and if you can get into my head and know that natural healthcare is a tapestry of putting all the right things together individually for you you have a really powerful system so i'm passionate about natural healthcare. i'm passionate about hydrogen therapy and it's understanding it if you want more information on our science page is all the scientific studies. There's over 1,000 plus scientific studies. And, it, and I've put, how does it help with heart condition? How does it help with cancer? How does it help with um, athletes? So on that page, if you want the technical information on the studies, it's there. We've also done a FAQ page. And on our FAQ page, we've said, let's really get really smart protocols. So if someone's got a chronic health issue, they've got to go slow and gentle. So we've got all of that information that we've learned over the years in our protocols. And we've put more information on about how to choose a machine. And um, with that, you will know hydrogen therapy inside, inside and out. Um, but to sum up, you know, I, I like this thought that people are taking more charge of their health and creating what I, I see as like home spas. These hydrogen machines work really fantastic as part of that home spa, helping everyone in the family, whether it's granddad, grandma, mum, dad, um, son, daughter, whoever it is, they can benefit from it. If they, they come back from a sports event, they're not feeling well, they've got inflammation, they've got arthritis, whatever it is, hydrogen therapy helps. And what I like about our machines, it's two delivery methods. You can plug this end in to, to here, press the button, let it bubble in for two to three minutes, and you will have hydrogen rich water, which will compete with any water ionizer the saturation will be as much as it can, can get to. So that's hydrogen water. The other thing with our machines is you plug in this end and you can breathe in hydrogen and oxygen between uh, 20 minutes to two hours, depending on, on, on what you're, you're dealing with. But I roughly breathe in 20 to 30 minutes a day and I use it as longevity, preventative health. And if I've got anything, a major, you know, touch word, anything else, I want this by, by my side. So that is hydrogen therapy summed up. If you have any questions, let us know and we're here to help. All right, have a great day. Cheers, guys.